Okay, so it's almost been six months now since I actually made a video. I know, I'm actually sorry. I'm gonna make up for it. So I got to make a whole animated music video using Procreate Dreams and Procreate itself. So I'm gonna show you guys my process of making this happen. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure the like button if you enjoy this. It helps my channel reach out to more people. And also do not forget to subscribe if you actually would like to. I would appreciate that too. So let's get right into it. Love you guys. Yeah, so normally I would start out by making sketches like um, of the character so he can decide which he wants. So I made these three sketches and he chose this one. I know it looks, he just said he wants a more anime looking character. So I had to take his character and start actually developing the character, making him look like um, more finished per se. Like this, I actually made some mistakes making this character, I'm not gonna lie. So I started out by making him look, he looked like a um, caricature type of character, like he was looking smallish. So that was my mistake in his character. He only saw the face and he was like, okay, he wants this character. He wants this type, this um, version of the character. So I had to make this character, but I ended up making his body look too small. So he was like, hell no, nah, he doesn't want this body at all for his character. So I should make him look um, um, a bit more human-like, human-like, yeah. So all these was just me trying to make the character and stuff. And then he was like, okay, now nah, I, I gotta make him look bigger. But I was like, okay, but I'm gonna make um, the um, turn around of the character first before we head back and make the whole character um, look bigger. So this is me trying to draw the side view, back view, three quarter view of the character so we can make a whole turn around. This is very necessary for making animated characters. So I started by drawing lines, these lines you see, which so, so I can easily identify like, um, where the eyes are, where the lips are, so I know exactly the points or the parts to put the eyes and stuff. So all I have to do is to just um, um, know the depths to make for each um, perspective. That's all. So that's what I'm trying to do here. This is among the best, um, the best parts of making the character. I really enjoyed this process. So for the back view, I just duplicated the front view and flipped it backwards to make the back view. The three quarter back view too. I'm doing the same thing. Duplicated the, the three quarter view. Um, flipped it and uh, just made a little edit. So now I'm gonna try to like make up the whole character to look um, close to human-like, if you can, if that's the word. So I'm just trying to get a right pose for the character, and I, I had quite a difficult time actually trying to get this pose, trying to get a flow for the character. Like I was trying to get a flow for the character, so I can like feel and like believe the character. He wants to like uh, a vampire. A vampire um, themed, um, a vampire themed theme for the whole animated video. So I had to put him put on a coat, uh, like Dracula. It's supposed to be like a Dracula type of coat, but then I made it like a bit stylish, so the neck doesn't go up, but the neck just rests on the body. So I'm trying to get a like a real cool pose, so I can uh, know like, okay, this is how my character looks like. This is his personality. He looks like this, so I can like use from this pose to make more other like, um, to like define the entire um, um, looks of the character later in the future. So right now I'm just doing a clean up. If you notice, if you're looking closely, I'm not using black for the outline anymore. I'm doing a clean up and painting my character. I'm using like a, a, a real dark brown to like make the outline of the character. So I'm just doing a neat outlines and painting each perspective of the character. So that's basically what I'm doing. And yep, he said he didn't like the boots, so I have to like make the boots come out. He gave me a reference of Blade, if you've seen Blade the movie. So he wants the boots to stick out like um, the boots. <laughs> um, the dude from Blade was putting, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. So I have to make these stand out like that and yep, voila. So that is that for the character creation. 
and now I did the character turn around. Yes, my character turn around. I really love this part of the animation. And to make this happen, I just had to duplicate my three quarter view and flip it like um, vertically. And I also duplicated the side view, flipped it vertically also. So I just flipped some um, perspectives and put them all into like one scene to make the uh, turn around animation. So now it looks like a 3D out of that part. So right after making my character turn around, I would start making my storyboard. Some people do make storyboards first before they make the character and whatever, character turn around. I would start making my storyboard. So in my storyboard, I want him to start out in the castle, sitting right in the castle. So um, the music title will come up, then he would like turn and pick up the glass of um, blood. Right after he grabs a cup of blood, then he stands up, works, um, take a sip and he like, yeah, like it's a bad day, so he like throws the cup away. Then he starts singing, he, he starts working, he looks back at one of the girls. Then he like shakes his head and he keeps working and singing. Then he flips upside down in the, like, um, into the ceiling, he walks in the ceiling like a vampire type, type shit. So, um, I would only be showing you guys the process I made, like, um, when he was walking, how I made the walk scene. And also, I will show you guys like the ending scene and how I made the ending scene of this because I don't think I'm allowed to show you guys the entire um, music video like right now. So, I want to show you guys the parts where I can show you guys, which should, which should be the walk scene, how I made the walk scene, and also how I made like the end scene when he, she was like um, um, about to like, um, fight him. And they had a little fight, so that's what I'll be showing you guys. So I started up my rough sketch animation on Procreate. Sorry, I didn't show you guys my, I could not show you guys my um, um, background process, like how I made the background. I don't think that's all necessary. But I just drew the background. I drew each uh, pillar you can see on the left and right side with the girls. I drew each pillar like separately so I can move them around to like make a depth effect. So this is me drawing the character that's walking by. So I'm trying to make him like walk. So. I'm just trying to do the walk cycle, the front view walk cycle, push his hands around and his head bounce around like as he walks like a real person should. So if you notice, like I did not draw the um, blood, that was the wine. I didn't draw the blood in the cup. So I didn't want to draw the blood yet because I wanted to also animate the blood in the cup. So I would do all of these in um, Procreate Dreams while I'm animating. So this is the part where he's supposed to like take a sip from the drink. So at this point, I already made the whole walk cycle. So now I can just copy and paste and um, um, uh, tweak the hands. So at this point, I'm only like, animating the, the, the hand with the cup and the face when he raises his head up and takes a drink. That's what I'm doing right now at this point. So <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty much it. So once I finish this process of him taking the drink, I would have to like also um, do a clean sketch, a clean outline and then paint all of these on um, Procreate Dreams. So right now, as you can see, I'm kind of animating his um his um cloak. Did I say cloak? I'm animating his um ah uh, what should I call this? The vest is wearing. I'm animating the vest, so you can see the vest moving around. And this is me doing a neat outline. I'm neating out the outline. You can see how he moves. Uh, so this is um I was actually satisfied with the movement. So right now I'm just doing a neat outline for the hands. Yeah, as he takes the cup up and takes a sip. So that's what I'm trying to achieve at this point. So. To achieve his face, I would put a face of the character face I made while he was sitting down. So I would use his face and to get the um, angle I want for this. Cause I did not make my character design to have like a downward looking face, which was among my mistakes I made while I was creating my character. I did not make um, enough like face angles and stuff. I only made a front view, side view, and uh, three quarter view, back view and all that. But I needed to make, also make like an up view, like a uh, up looking face view and also a downward looking face view also a downward looking to water view and stuff like that but I didn't do all of this so it kind of made my faces look a bit off if you notice he doesn't really look like himself at some points but it's pretty quick so you wouldn't really notice all these um, um, cons so you wouldn't notice all of this so 
um the other good thing about animation sometimes like you would not see uh, all the like um faults come out because everything happens so quick so that's what i would say like um among my regrets i didn't make enough um, um perspectives when i was doing all oh, making the character if not i could have like gotten a perfect face angle for each scene so i just had to make him take the drink and um um even though he's in my story about i drew him like um he got uh, like after i took a sip he like um threw the cup away he got like he takes it back he threw the cup away in my story about but um while i'm making the animation i decided to like not do that anymore because um it didn't come out right to me so i had to like make it different like he just took a sip he dropped the cup back and he like let the cup like the cup just fell off his hands like so that's what i'm trying to do right here I don't want to make him throw the cup away anymore. I just want to make him like drop the cup down. And then the camera is going to transition into like the cup, landing on the floor and breaking like shattering. Like that's what I want to do. Yeah, so this is him currently like dropping the cup down and I'm trying to make the cup drop down. So yeah, it's what it looks like. He walks and drops the cup down. So this is the complete clean up of this walk sequence on Procreate. So I'm gonna use Procreate to do my um, um, neat outline process cause Procreate GMC lacks some features which I will need for animation, but I'll talk about that in a different video. So this on um, Procreate Dreams, I painted this on Procreate Dreams. Painting on Procreate Dreams is pretty easy and straightforward, but I did not add the um, wine, which is the blood yet in the wine glass. So I will later add this on in a complete rendered process. So I animated the glass and the uh, wine on a separate layer on this alongside with the background and some light effects. This took me almost three to seven hours, don't get it twisted. So heading to the next um, scene, I'm gonna do the, the part where she dives him, like she burns and dives him. So at this point, like as usual, I like drawing my um, um, animation sequence first for characters with hair. I don't like drawing the hair um, in this process, in the first stage. I would draw the um, character without hair and then add up the hair sequence just to make the hair flow seem a bit more realistic. So this is my rough sketch, this is my neat outline, and this is my painting on Procreate Dreams, and I did I painted the hair and I had more effects about on this. So the background of this particular animation sequence, it took me a really long time to come up with this. So what I did here, I just painted this wave, this wave um, layer and duplicated it and flipped this vertically. Then I duplicate this again, and now I'm gonna flip this horizontally and then I will duplicate the layer again and flip it again vertically just to make it look like the waves are actually going around in circles so I tried painting this on Procreate but I couldn't come up I couldn't like make a nice wave so I just came up with this idea and it worked out I'm so happy about this this one it just made my life pretty easier so when I put this on animation it makes it look absolutely lovely So as for the dive scene, I just wanted her to dive downwards into the, the dude on the bed. So I just do her head, I just do only the head first, like a ball diving out of the camera. Then I added up her body and I finally added the hair to make the hair seem um, really convincing, like she's like the hair is actually waving around to the wind. So the last thing I added to this character was a face, cause I didn't want to stress too much about making the face while I was drawing the body too. So I just added the face, facial expression as she was coming down. Um, lastly, and you can see I made the face grunt some more like as she was going down. So that was that and this is my rough sketch, this is my neat outline and this is my painted work on Procreate Dreams and then I did the after effect, add some lighting and the background effects. So that was that about all the animation process. So I can show you guys the entire animation process because I can recall all that because it took a very long time to accomplish this. So if you guys would like to see a, a complete animation process, you all let me know in the comment section. I will try to make a complete um, uh, animation tutorial because this is something I'm um, um, like getting into this day. I'm trying to like 
switch into making morph animations and stuff so that is it guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did leave a like on this video it really helps my channel a lot it helps me a lot it makes me really like it's a really great thing thank you very much so um if you enjoyed video, destroy the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of my content and join the family guys i love you all you have a great time see you all next time peace